Sometimes the package you want to install is only available as another distribution's package. In my case, I am running Novara, which is Fedora based, and I want to install a .deb package. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Alien to do that, as well as another method I found when I was trying to work through this. I also create a .desktop file so that I can actually have this in my menu. All right, so here's the article I have for this. Uh, this will have some more screenshots and things like that once I'm actually ready to post it. So let's take a quick look at what you can actually convert packages to, and then we'll see what we need to do to install it. So as you can see here, I have, you can do dash D to make a Debian package. You can do dash R to make an RPM package, dash T to make a TGZ. And then this one has a dash dash two SLP to create a SLP package. And then dash P is a package, PKG package. And then if you do dash I in the option, you will also actually install that package. So to install Alien in Fedora or Nabara and other variants like that off of the Fedora, you would just simply run sudo dnf install Alien. Best I can tell, in Ubuntu, you would run sudo apt install alien. You apparently do not need a repository at this point in time. If you're running something beyond, you know, the basic Ubuntu, if you're running like Mint or something, that may be something where you have to actually get a repository pulled up and added. But I will, um, I'll see if I can add a few more notes in here, if I can tell if, you know, for example, Mint and some others actually need a repository or not. When it comes to Arch, it's actually not in the Arch repo, so you'd want to install that from the AUR, and it would be yay-s alien or paru-s alien, depending on which AUR helper you have. If you have one beyond these, then you would use the appropriate command to install just like these are here. I'm going to pull up my terminal here, and we're gonna run sudo, and I know it's probably sudo, but I just can't stop saying sudo. sudo dnf install, and then alien, I'm gonna ask for my password. And so just to glance through these and make sure this is correct, we're gonna be installing alien. And all of these look like they are Perl dependencies. So let's go and say yes. It'll run through its deal, which ironically my, my machine name is alien because it's an alienware desktop. So, you know, that works. All right. So now I just need to find the file that I want to install, the .deb package that I have here. So I just do cd into downloads. There we go. And then it would be alien-r-i. Actually, let's just do the rp. Uh, yeah, let's go and do dash i to see if it works. And then it's gonna be mixing station pc dot uh, pc underscore 1.8.1. 1-1 one one underscore amd 64 dot deb. So what this should do is this should take our deb package here. It should convert that to an RPM package and then install that. So enter. Alien is not running as root. Okay, that's fine. I believe it, uh, it failed because we are not able to actually install without root. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this folder really quick. We should have an RPM package here, I believe. We do. So mixing station RPM right there. So let's say sudo dnf install mixing mix, uh, mixing station. There we go. So yeah, in the future, if you need to actually run with the dash I flag, you will probably need to run that as sudo, sudo, whatever you want to call it. And let's try this. It's going to pick up that we want to install this. And this is a binary. So all of the information is there. And it installed very, very quickly. So let's see if we can... Okay, so I've restarted, I've done a bunch of searching, and I actually have two different ways for us to do this now. So first up, the reason that I wasn't finding the file before is because it's in a completely different directory. Let's take a look at where it actually installed this first. 
So as I played around with this, I eventually ended up extracting the dev file and lo and behold, I noticed it said slash opt. So I said CD slash opt and there we go. So CD mixing station PC LS CD bin and then dot slash mixing station PC. And there we go. Amazing. It actually works. However, all that being said, I'd have to essentially create a desktop file with this or go in to this particular folder to run this or add this to my path or something like that. By the way, Reaper actually shows up. Mixing station does not appear to actually have a desktop file. I don't know why. Anyway, so as I was working through this, I saw somebody talking about the fact that DPKG it can be installed in Fedora. And so I found the command that I needed to run. And what I need to run is dpkg dev space dash xv, the name of the Debian file, and then space, and then the directory I want to extract to. And so I went ahead and ran that command. And I noticed it was slash opt slash opt. I'm like, okay, well, let's check slash opt. And that's where I found it. So the interesting byproduct of this though, is that when I go into this mixing directory and this opt and this mixing station PC and this bin, uh, if I, hey, there it goes. I was about to say, I need to refresh. I found this and guess what? I can execute this just like I could the other folder. So this may be a cleaner method if you don't want it in your opt file. Uh, either way, I'm probably going to have to create a desktop dot desktop file for this. I was able to take this folder that I had extracted the Debian package from, and I was able to actually run this. Alternately, like I showed, I could go to the opt folder and run it there, right? But I was not seeing it in the start menu here, and that was making it more difficult to actually run. So I created a .desktop file. This is just some standard stuff that I will, I will have the template here in the post that I have. But ultimately what I was able to do is I was able to have the execute and the icon here alternately, I believe, let's, let's test it out live here. Alternately, if I did not want to use this home bash apps, if I wanted to use the one that I had saved out there in opt, which I may, I think I will probably do and see how it goes. But let's say I want to use that one. I could say opt and then slash mixing station PC, lib mixing station PC PNG, that is the icon. And then the mixing station PC and then bin mixing station PC is the file. So let's save that. And let's try to launch it again now. And there we go. As, as you can see, either one will work. It depends on how you want to manage this. So ultimately the choice is up to you. You can use DPKG and try to extract the deb file that way and see if you can get a bin out of that. That could work. And then you can put that file wherever you want to and create a desktop file for it. Alternately, you can try Alien and let it do the conversion and let it do installation. One downside to Alien was that I was not able to actually get it to run until I went to the opt directory and actually got it. That could be something specific to this particular application. And if it is, great. I did not know that I should look in the opt folder until I saw the actual extraction of the Debian package. So. That could be something to look at and see which one works for you. But ultimately, I think both are good options. It's going to be up to you as to which one of these is going to be the best option. Neither one of them are going to be your first choice, obviously. You'd much rather have a package that is in your own distros repositories or a flat pack or app image or something like that. This is really kind of the last resort when you find a package that simply doesn't exist in your repos and isn't created as a flat pack. And, you know, hopefully in the future, this will not really be an issue. But for the time being, 
two great options, at least on Fedora, and likely if you can get dpkg installed, you could extract a deb package in other distributions as well. But Alien should be able to take RPM and convert them to deb, and the other packages I mentioned at the beginning. Alien will give you a bit more functionality, but in this case, the DKPG would work out just fine. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and I will see you next time.